Okay, here is our mixture for the highlighted surfaces of the boat and then for the shadow section we're going to mix up a much darker color with uh, you know, it's going to be this is getting back towards what kind of our, what our water was and a little bluer and we'll start with those two mixes and I'll be adding things to them but I'm going to zoom in on the boat with the camera because you'll be able to see what's happening there a little bit better I'm going to start with the white area, lit, sunlit area. This will eventually get made very warm. But it's going to get painted over a bunch of times as I do details in the water and even glazes on the sky I might do yet want to work their way down in here so we're not too worried about anything being exact we're just kind of defining the lit sunlight shapes Of these these bulkheads are lit. Now I'm just using the chisel point of the brush for these lines. And I got my paint pretty thin. Picking up some green from the background hills, but no, no worries. It's really lightly. Okay. Yeah, there's a rudder in here, a rudder handle, but I'm not going to worry about that for now. Just after the body of the boat. All right. So now we're going to go back to the shadow color and lay some in here and see what that looks like. It's not that much different than the uh, water behind it. So we're going to go more to a still kind of different shit. That's a little better. There's some piping in the bottom of this boat. We're not going to worry about putting that in and right now. There's a little darker kind of a peeled away section, I guess, a pink, pink peeled away. Right in here. And we'll 
just a little bit start to model lights and darks in here. Not going to be too fussy about it at this point because everything's going to change so much. I do want to get this dark established here. This is the, uh, I guess, the, where the motor of the boat would sit. This is pretty dark in here. So I'm going back and forth between my burnt sienna and my ultramarine. Now one thing about laying the, these two colors on this heavy at this point is I'm going to have to wait for that to dry. I've got a couple days of drying I'm looking at right there in that thickness. But uh, Okay. Now this darkens up as it we get down into the bottom of this row here. And while well, we can we'll just do a little preliminary blending in this section. Now the values aren't right yet. We gotta go in here with some a much redder. And also a little bit darker value. it either but it's getting there I think what we want to do let's work a little blue in here I'm gonna, I'm gonna pretty much let that go for right now okay now we're gonna go back to the next bulkhead and I'm using uh, straight up ultramarine and burnt sienna mix here and now we're starting to establish the pattern made by the shadows and highlights in the boats ahead of it and it's a little darker at the top and then it getting some reflected light in the bottom so we'll accentuate this top stroke and then lighten up the bottom of that well this uh, section of the boat where the paint is still in pretty good shape yet. Yeah. 